Not YouTube, Jinx here, and I'm going to teach you how to do the burning scope effect with their extra action essentials as requested by Trick Shots and Yebby Editing, or however you say it, sorry if I pronounced those wrong, but yeah. Um, so this is what we're going to look at. We're going to, this is all done in Sony Vegas and done with their action essentials. Um, there's a download link in the t description box, and this is what you're going to download. It'll be WinRAR files, so you need WinRAR to extract, and this is hosted on Dropbox, so you should just download try it away without ads or anything like that. So, here's my little clip in Sony Vegas. It's a three second long um, Twixter from Ro Rocket Ross's um, OC editing contest. I think it's true for Roy, I'm not sure. So, just drag your um, Burning Scope clip into uh, Sony Vegas. So, wait for that to load. Just press U, delete the audio. Press Control Shift Q to create a new track. Just drag that on top of the clip that we're after. Go to switches, disable resample, switches, maintain aspect ratio, and we just want to cut that so it's in line with um, our clip below. So we want to make this layer screen so the fire can be seen above the video itself. We can delete any of our excess layers and then what we need to do is go to the start of our track click on the event plan cop and drag our scope so I can't move my voice sensor for some reason I think it might be locked anyway we need to make sure the fire ring is going around our scope so that's a in line and then what we need to do, we need to go down to mask and just mask around roughly the fire and then we need to go to feather type, both feather percent just put that to about can you put it to fifth there, it work? yeah put it down to about 50 so we can't see that yellowy white stain and then we go to properties media alpha channel pre multiplied that should help us a bit more and then you can't see like the white stuff around it where it's not screened very well and then as we can see the fire is on the scope but as the scope comes to his closer to his face it goes out of position so what we need to do is we need to go back to the event plan crop of the fire ring and then we go up to position and then we just simply move the scope and resize it so it matches the scope again and there we go if we just pre-render this now you should see the fire scope follows the Barrett scope yeah so thanks for watching, comment like and subscribe and if you've got any problems with it, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.